Greetings extended family, it's your sister Marie here with African Diaries. Good morning uh, to you all. It is a very early morning and I'm very tired, but um, I had to wake up early so that we can do the laundry today. So that's what we're going to do today. That's why I'm going to show you how we do here in the Gambia. Uh, most of us anyway, the ones of us who don't have a washing machine, how we wash our clothes. Um, yeah, and basically the whole process of that. So. Follow along on today's um, video. I hope that you learn something new. Okay, so these are some of the clothes that we are going to wash. Um, and these are the uh, pans that we are going to use. Or the buckets, the big buckets <laughs> of, of water. Okay, so the first one is for just basically uh, rinsing the clothes first with, with some water so we don't add anything in this um, big bucket and then and then you basically put the clothes in here um, with the washing soap here it's called Omo in the Gambia and you also use a bar of soap uh, and then you, you use them and wash your clothes in this water and then you come to the next one uh, and this one you basically put omo in it as well and uh, the, the omo is here this is the second round where you put your omo and then you wash the clothes again here so that it's very very clean so you've got one and two and then you take it to the next to the last one and this is basically where you uh, rinse the clothes so if you want you can put this uh, blow <laughs> inside um, the water and rinse all of your clothes it basically makes the clothes um, like brighter and make it seem more uh, cleaner, especially white white clothes. So yes, that, that's basically the process that I'm going to show you today. So uh, yes, let let's start. Okay, so these are some scarves. Taking them and uh, rinsing them first. Fun fact, extended family. My grandma always used to tell us to rinse the clothes before actually washing them because otherwise she said that um, you, you can't really pray in the clothes. Uh, and uh, I always had that at the back of my mind. Um, but anyways, we rinse the clothes before just putting them in round okay. one. Okay. So, whenever it is like rinsed, you take it. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, so no judgment. <laughs> Just showing you how it's done. Okay, and then you put it. Uh, don't put the omo first. And then you put it there. So that's that's where the first um, like washing is going to take place. Um, I am low-key avoiding the bigger clothes since it's way more difficult washing the bigger clothes with your hands. Um, so I'm actually like looking for smaller <laughs> clothes, but I mean, I really cannot um, avoid them since I, I need to wash them anyways. So yes, let me just take the bigger clothes. <laughs> Yeah, 
guys okay now that all the clothes are in round one big bucket <laughs> you basically yes do this turn them around uh, make sure the omo gets into the clothes before you start washing okay once you mix the omo with the water you basically get to your soap and you take one piece of cloth and you start rubbing it against the soap like this and then you start basically uh, <coughs> So I've managed to get this sound. It's basically you you take you um wet the the cloth and then uh basically when you do this when you just squeeze the water with the cloth and everything you 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 automatically get the sound. So you do that do that and do this at the same time and you are pressing you are at the same time pressing the water out of the cloth. So that's basically how you get the sound. And it takes practice. Some people practice for years before they get this, but I mean, it's not that difficult if you know the technique. You know. So once this one is done, you squeeze uh, the uh, the omo out, and then you put it in round two. So this is round two. Um, so once you wash it here, you wash it again so that it really gets clean. Okay, so we have to put some omo in here as well. I don't know how how you know how much omo you need. You you just you just look at the amount of your clothes and then you basically yeah estimate what you think. And then you need to be be aware of, of like the stains on your clothes. If you think that it's not getting clean, then maybe you should add some more omo. You know. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm leaving this one there, and then let's head on to round, round one, so that we have a lot of clothes in round two, and then we can continue on round two, okay? So let's continue on here. And as you can see, extended family, it takes time. <laughs> Depending on how much clothes you have to wash, it takes, yeah, a various amount of time. But um, yeah, you just have to be patient. Okay, so uh, this is the first round. Oh, sorry. The first round is taken to the second round. So we need to uh, put more omo here and take the rest of the clothes and put them into the round one. Some clothes are heavy, especially when they get wet. Okay. 
We put on some more. Oma. Oh, it's wet. I know the word. Bye. Okay, so we take the blue and put it inside here. Not even. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you see how the water gets? Okay. Okay, okay it gets blue. Okay, so now it's round two. It's time for round two. So I take the clothes again, take the soap, and then just. Squeeze everything out as much as possible. And then you put it in the blue. So you see, that's going to make the scarf even brighter than it is. So it looks cleaner. Okay, so we leave that there. And then we continue on with the rest. This is how the experts do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to write it. Pet, pet. Okay. Look at this. Yeah, okay. The cloth is a bit um, thick. So it's hard to do the pet, pet. Yes. <laughs> so you need to rinse out the water so that it can uh, dry faster. If you leave some water there, then it might even have a smell, and uh, yeah, it will take ages for it to dry in the sun. Then it with that. You see how it gets? It gets blue. But this this is going to fade 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 away in the sun.
Okay, so now we are going to hang the clothes. This is the process where we hang the clothes. Do you take the bag here? Okay. So these things are called kepo. Yeah, they're basically laundry uh, clippers <laughs> or however you want to call them. So they they hold the laundry together so it doesn't fly away. And, and when it comes to bigger clothes, like this one, you basically turn it inside out. So, so that any stains during the day it won't um, get on the front side of the, of, of the club. It can come on the inside, like that. Okay, so that's basically how you do it. So you clip two clocks with, with, with one clip. Okay. Now on to the next one. Basically do the same thing here. That, take a clip and took. Okay, so these are the um, bucket, or the, the, I don't even know what to call them. Yeah, they are very dirty, so we are going to throw them away. And uh, as you can see here, let me go to the back. Uh, my cousin basically hung up all the, all the clothes. There's not too much sun yet out, but um, hopefully they will be soon. Yes. Okay, so now we are going to throw the water away since it's dirty. And we have washed all the clothes. Okay. This thing is very heavy though. So that's where we throw the water away. Ah, this is drop. Okay. And you've got the laundry over there okay extended family unfortunately this is the end of the video because sahna took down the clothes when i wasn't around so i hope it was educational and that you liked the video anyway bye extended family